You ever try to tickle yourself? Go ahead, try it. Doesn't work, huh? Weird, right? No matter how hard you try, it just doesn't feel the same. But why? Why does it work when someone else does it, but not when you do it? Is it a conspiracy? A tickle conspiracy? Tickling actually activates specific areas in your brain, particularly the somatosensory cortex, which processes touch, and the anterior cingulate cortex, which deals with anticipation and emotional reactions. When someone else tickles you, your brain lights up like a disco ball. Have you come to destroy me, platypus? But when you try to tickle yourself, your brain sees it coming. Literally, your cerebellum, the part of your brain that controls movement, sends a message to the rest of your brain. Heads up, this touch is self-generated. No surprises here. So your brain filters out the sensation as unimportant. Kind of like how you don't really notice the feeling of your clothes after wearing them for a while. Some people with neurological conditions can tickle themselves like those with schizophrenia because their brain might not recognize self-touch as self. So next time you try to tickle yourself and fail, remember it's not you. It's your incredibly clever brain trying to keep things under control. Stay curious, stay weird, and don't forget to tickle the subscribe button. See you next time.